And the ad is over. Shouldn't be another ad for a good hour or so. We start almost running right up though. Who goes there? Tsunami, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the last time show. How are you doing today? I know you. You're from uh, Blue Sky. Or at least that's where I first met you, I believe. How are you doing tonight? At least I'm pretty sure you're the same Tsunami, right? Welcome to the stream. I haven't streamed in a while. I used to stream regularly on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and this evening when I was coming home after I had some delicious Waffle House, if you know what Waffle House is, um, I decided, you know what, fuck it. I haven't been on in a while, and I need to regain a sense of regularity with streaming. I have been not been able to do any of this stuff with regularity like I used to because of a lot of real life stuff going on. There you go, I recognize you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I think the last time I streamed on a Wednesday, it, we were playing Metal Gear Revengeance. I'm not going to be playing it tonight, because I don't really want to play that, game, play that game again until I practice and grind a bit. I'm literally at the very end of the game. Okay, you know what? That's going to be a problem. Shit. One second. Evidently, I can't just, uh... I'll not, I will not be able to just, um... Lay this on top of my webcam. I need to... Actually place this somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to place it, where it's not going to get in the way, though. That's the main issue, huh? Usually, traditionally, I use just a strict web a straight webcam for VTubing, but I decided to pick up a cheap uh, iPhone to do think to do th to see what that's like. Um, of course, my desk doesn't have much in the way of space anymore so as you might imagine it means that i'll need to that i've been experimenting with placing it elsewhere how's this now thankfully the iphone's our camera has fairly decent Whatchamacallit, it has fairly decent range where it can see my face. So for the most part, I could place it in several different places and it would work just fine. I'm try I tried placing it right next to my webcam in the hopes that it would function the same way as my regular webcam, but obviously it literally just fell down when I slightly tapped my desk and that is not a problem. Hey Quill, want to know something a little wholesome? What's sure? I'm always up for wholesome stuff. What's up? Is this the wholesomeness that you just gave me a foul? I'll take it. I could always use another foul. Uh, excuse me while I go ahead and fix a few things though, like there we go. Need to figure out also why Moving the camera. I guess this is the other issue with. Hmm. Why does it feel like I'm. I wonder if that's because of the angle that my iPhone is looking at me. 
Aww. Well, that's probably one of the best jokes I've heard tonight. Well, thank you very much for the uh, follow, Quilvo. I don't recognize your handle, so I'm going to assume I don't know you from social media, but in case you do, well, even if you do already, I'm going to go ahead and reintroduce myself. My name is Laura Hicks. I'm a shitposter AI. Um, I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I've been on soft hiatus for a few months now. I've been trying to get back, um, but things in real life keep getting in the way. And we're just now trying to get back to a sense of normalcy, so I figure I should at least, while I have time, force myself to uh, stream with regularity again. Or at least try to approach those things. I used to stream earlier in the day. I'm not usually that late, that late of a night person, but I might be forced to transform into a late night person, unfortunately, due to uh, the realities of Meat Space World. Aww. <laughs> well, I'm glad you understand. Uh, does anyone... Do I... Does this seem like awkward I'm kind of bending like this? Now, to be fair, it's because when I have to... When I look at chats, I have it... I have I have multi, multi monitor set up. So when I look at chat, I have to look at the right side of... So when I'm looking, like, straight forward, I'll be looking like this, basically. But if when I'm looking to the side, it'll be kind of bent this way. Usually it just looks like I'm looking to the side off, but... My iPhone is down here, just above my keyboard. Which I'm guessing is the reason why it's tracking my mouth better now. As supposed to be just sitting up here, up next to my actual webcam. I'm probably going to be futzing around with that during stream because I still have a lot of things that I'm trying to get done with regards to fixing streams up or stream up a bit. I'm improving or improving the, uh, quality of life for y'all viewers so there will be some experimentation involved and me just futzing around uh, improving things from here to here for example I just now noticed and now I can't unsee that this chat box is a little bit it doesn't look unnatural looks like you're just looking a bit to the side I'm glad to hear that okay well if you, don't, if you think this looks fine then I guess I won't mess with it too much. The other issue is, while I'm try I would prefer if my iPhone was sitting on top of my monitor instead of below, is that when I try to use my hands, um, it gets in the way of the iPhone viewing my face, which screws up the face when I'm trying to use my hands, obviously. Uh, so I wonder if there's a way... I'll probably need to finagle something like taping the iPhone to the top of my monitor or something. Because the other option is... Hmm. Unless I... That's oh, not going to work either. Strange. I Man, I'm overthinking things. It's been a while since I've calibrated my hands module, so it might just be my OCD acting up. When I first started VTubing, I used to have OCD up the asshole with every little thing. Um, you kind of once you start accepting that scuff is a natural part of YouTubing, you stop worrying about the little things and try to focus on, you know, the actual content stuff and actually doing things. But every now and then when something new or something new and messy or messy comes up, it just kind of fucks, fucks with you from time to time. Ah, there we go. I fixed it. I, fig I figured out what... When you're running more than one program for V for VTubing, you kind of have to just play around with everything until you figure out what the crux of the issue is. There we go. Alright, cool. Now I think we're good. Okay. So, I had nothing special planned for today, really. I just kind of wanted to play some video, get some soft, play some video games, maybe do some writing tonight. 
uh, perhaps work on some VR, VRM poser things as well. I had a lot of fun making those web comics to announce a collab that I was in earlier. And I kind of wanted to make web comics my whole life. Uh, the last time I did anything close to that were basically sprite comics when I was doing recolors back in the Mugen era, back when Mugen was still a, a big thing. So as long as the caffeine holds out and as long as I'm still awake, I'll probably do something like that. The other reason I don't usually stream this late is because I usually work um, the next day, but I am off tomorrow and Friday due to the American holiday known as Thanksgiving and the unofficial American holiday of Black Friday. And so I just felt like getting on this evening. I'm still pretty, pretty awake, all things considered. But without further ado, let me go ahead and play a little bit of Synthetic tonight. I haven't played this game in a while. This used to be one of the game, my so-called comfort games that I used to play, just to mess around. I don't really take it all that seriously. It may not see, it may seem like I do, just for the fact that I like playing on... <laughs> stupid difficulty and I die a lot I play a fucking sniper of all things which is like the class you play if you just want to die repeatedly but just like a lot of things it's one, a lot of uh, a lot of whatchamacallit games like this which are very which are very RNG based where the hell is the options? One second. You have a tendency to have great runs or terrible runs sometimes. I'm probably going to suck though. I also just realized that with the iPhone covering up some very important parts that you need, like my health, and like a little bit over here, I won't be able to see everything that's going on. Unless, of course, I cheat a bit and use stream to see the parts that I can't see. It'll be an interesting handicap, unintentional handicap, I should say. Just like in an actual FPS, you do need to focus on, you know, sniping people in this game when you're playing Sniper. Of course, even if you aren't, honestly, just hitting people in the head are, is a generally good rule for this game. Okay, you see, this is going to be a problem. I can't... There's literally a huge spark right here. I totally forgot how to reload just then. I might actually die in a second. I'm already dead, wow. That handicap is actually kind of fucking nasty, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's a... That's... It is a good rule in general, and it's not possible for me to play this game with this thing at the bottom. If this was an actual FPS, it would be fine, because you don't need to look all the way down here, like... Right here is where I literally cannot see anything because my that's where my iPhone is. So I got to find a way around this, like now. I got an idea, actually. Bada bing! See this works one second. Testing one, two, three. 
Oh, okay. Camera is definitely way too low. We can't actually... Or can it? If I move the keyboard up a little bit... What if... Wow. You know what? This is pretty good. They weren't kidding when they said that the iPhones do have decent cameras. I guess that's one of the few things they still have that are decent. With a little bit of finagling, I was able to move the iPhone down a little bit. So it's kind of like sitting underneath my keyboard at the very bottom. It used to be like covering all the space here, but now it's covering like this part right here. So I've increased the amount of space I have on my monitor. I can actually see. Maybe I'll die a lot less quickly this time. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh! I even started off with a rifle now. I don't know why I didn't start off with a rifle last time. You're supposed to. I have that per I unlocked it a while back. I'm garbage. That was not a headshot, even though the game even though the game said it was. Wow, I'm go Seriously? Dumb bots. Oh my god. The failed to act reload. How am I still alive? Well, okay, I managed to survive that time. <laughs> cool. Could be worse, I guess, right? Could always be worse. Ooh. There's already there's already a gun over there I can grab. Assuming I um, make it that far, of course. Already there's an elite here. Who I just insta-murdered. Really? I've temporarily forgotten how to sprint in this game. I used to be so good at active reloading, or at least competent at active reloading. We're not doing so badly now, and I can actually see what I'm shooting at for the most part this time. An FG9 personal. I like the FG9 as a weapon in real life, but the uh, FG9 in this game is also pretty pog, if I do say so myself. I totally forgot how to... There we go, inspect. Ballistic soft weapons, so this is really good against really uh, garbage robots. And we got here the... Uh, which is the K9, the German sniper rifle. The developers of this game are German themselves, so it goes without saying. What the fuck? Could have sworn I killed him before he got to me, but got you two. Four shots. I didn't even know there was something there. Must have exploded, and I wasn't noticing. <laughs> I love it when I get more than one into once. Like that. Pretty sure I shot that guy in the arm that time, and he still managed to die. Go, oh my god! Oh, ooh, oh, oof. Oh, man, it's not looking good, chat. Wait. Always gotta look away when you use that. Despite the AI being a lot better on the harder difficulty levels like, I, like it is right now, they do have a tendency to shoot each other and themselves on occasion. I'm already out of ammo. That's just beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. That wasn't so bad. We're doing okay. Maybe. 712 health. Could totally be doing worse, you know. We finally made it to the end of the level chat. 
finally. Ooh! We don't really have that much in the way of money though, so I'm not even sure we can make use of this. Sure, we don't have that much anyway, and we won an additional 577 credits. Boom, headshot. Do kids still say boom, headshot? Is that still a thing? I know it didn't actually, like, damage that, but what it did do was do a little bit of damage to it, I suppose. Oh, what the fuck? How are you still alive? And you're dead. Oh my god. Ooh, there's a hornet's nest. The death ball got memed on thanks to that stun mine that I totally did not leave there. Ow. Shit, an orb of fire? That's not bad. Hey, you're pre-firing. That's hacks. Ow. Shit. Ow. 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 Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. I hate those things. I hate those things so much. I keep forgetting. This only has 20 bullets. I am spoiled by SMGs that have, like, 40 or 35. But SMGs and other and other weapons of the like are pretty strong on sniper since you could use this thing on anything. Since it's not weapon locked, it's coming out of my face. Increases fire duration and increases uh, a chance to unleash a wave weapon into it. Not bad. Let's switch back to the sniper rifle for a second there. Just got hit by three different damage types. So is that a drone? I hate those things. Oh, fuck. That one has a shield? That's mean. I do not like he. Not bad. We're doing better now, chap. Somewhat. We should probably get some health regen since I can't seem to stop getting myself hurt. Just got a blast of hornet's nest with venom, you bet. <laughs> Especially when it's that. Yes, by all means, keep lining up like that. Please. Make thing- oh my god. Wow. Fuck. And he's dead. Get a free upgrade here. Upgrade kit. Let me be saving the upgrade kits until we get a better gun, though. Imagine if we managed to get the uh, 420 Yoko sniper rifle. The uh, Gurren Lagan sniper rifle, I should say. Oh, look at this motherfucker. We're down to two bullets left. Oh, I just got more. Okay. So we're actually doing not that bad, all things considered. Oh my god. Really? Can we get out of here? Health critical? Impact these nuts. Oh my god. I have like no health right now. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be alive still, but I am. I'm so glad I got that. I decide on picking up the health regen perk. So glad. Hey look, another item. What could it be? Target Kog... 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 
to like cog kaji tip Kaj cogitator when active all shots lock onto the nearest enemy would reduce recoil and increase fire rate each kill while active grants passively increased accuracy oh wow that's pretty good actually it's like the game realized that i'm garbage at aiming apparently you need some cog all right io what did he mean by this oh for fuck's sake Well, I'm out of ammunition now. Ow. Ow. Those stupid drone things are going to be a problem until I figure out where that's from. And kill it. Oh, look, there's health right there. Thank you, drone bot. Is that thing healing? No, they are he What the fuck? Oh my god. These annoying drone things are going to continue to be a pain in my ass until I figure out where they came from and silence them. There they are. That was a flamethrower bot just now. Thankfully they're for Yes, run! Run, motherfucker. And he's dead. Where'd you come from? Ammo boost. Shields up. Health is back to 860. And we just um, got another gun? Hmm. What could this be? Well, this one's out of ammunition, so let's switch it for a... Haha, <laughs> a DMR of some kind. What kind of DMR? An R2000? I wonder if this is really related to the WA2000. Just from its... Eh, maybe not. Money shot? Gives you more money. Rogue bonus. So it's great in rogues. Ballistic armor piercing weapon. Oh, what the shit? Already? I guess the game didn't like me taking my sweet ass time, huh? Oh my god. Well, might as well use this thing while we have it. Ah. So this gives anti-healing. Only time will tell if this was a good choice for the upgrade. Good thing this thing is anti-armor as well. Oh! Did you see that? It was gradually decreasing their that robot's health. Looks like I made a good choice after all, chat. No, fuck you. God damn. Woo. Oh my god. The game is like, no, we will not allow you to leave. I actually haven't explored most of this level yet because I've been finding it hard to survive even in one area. But it looks like I've made it now. I think I've cleaned out this level. Given that I haven't played this in some time. And I am I decided to restart on difficulty 220. I think I'm doing okay. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't y'all say? All things considered. Oh, this is just lovely. Reduce visibility. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't see shit, Captain. I'm already dead. Fuck. It's always something, isn't it? 
Still, we did a little bit better at time, I'd say. We're regaining. Or we're re regaining our abilities. All things considered. That was not a bad start, not a bad start at all. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, that never gets old. Ow. Whoa! I actually unlocked something. It's been a while since I unlocked anything in this game. Alarm. Alarm. Al Damn it, Drone, you still may kill. <laughs> oh, damn it. Double keel. Double KO. It's kind of weird that I became a sniper main, despite me being the kind of person who plays this game a little too aggressively for your average sniper, you know? Just a bit. But I don't know. Believe it or not, I don't play snipers very often in FPS games either. Synthetic? I don't know. There's something different about it. It's definitely easier to click on heads in this game than it is in a traditional FPS game. So, it's got that going for it, right? OCD is acting up again. This time with my lip syncing. There we go. It's a good thing you're not just an average sniper. Aw, well thank you. I can consider myself a fairly mediocre sniper in most FPS games. The exception being I'm halfway decent in Halo, even though as far as FPS games go, uh, aiming in Halo is substantially easier than other FPS games. I grew up on stuff like Quake, right? And yet, I guess when you play a lot of high-speed FPS game, arena-style FPS games like Quake, suddenly games like Halo become, feels super easy by comparison. Especially since there's no auto-aim, there's uh, no auto-aim in boomer shooters and the like. So, auto-aim and such, might people might rely on that on console-based FPS games like Halo, but you can't really rely on that otherwise. And you just sort of get used to it, I suppose. Uh, I can't see what that... Uh... Oh, You're a Halo fan also? Yeah, man, I've been playing Halo since uh, the first one. Then uh, I stopped playing... The last Halo series game, or Halo campaign I ever played was Halo 3, because after Bungie left, I didn't really care for 3 for 3 that much. But I like Halo Infinite. I still play that from time to time. You're a Halo baby also? Oh, I see you were in the same generation then. Awesome. 
Do I gamble? Traded? What did I what did I get? What what did I what did I get? Did it give me anything? I don't think it gave me anything, chat. Oh, I'm dumb. It it got rid of my power bolts. But it didn't give me anything in return. Oh, wait, no. Composite 4. Plants a remote detonator that explodes in the ground can be detonated by I.O.? That's actually could be useful. <laughs> but yeah, Halo is also another comfort game. I don't need to try in Halo. I mean, I could, but tryharding in Halo has always been fairly cancerous. Since it usually consists of basically just knowing where all the power weapons are and just going to those. And then calling hitting people with the grab hammer, grab hammer skill. But if you have good tracking in that game, if you and you know how to aim for the head, that's all you need half the time. Don't need to memorize shit like um, spray patterns and all that. <laughs> For a flashing quick draw, when ready, switching weapons grants higher fire rate and increased damage. Ooh, well, that's going to come in handy. The map knowledge is, was always key, but BR aim is the core. But better BR aim is the core. That's very true. Hmm. If you couldn't tell from me slandering Halo just now, I've always been the kind of person that couldn't be arsed to memorize locations and stuff, but so I just focused on uh, keeping the target on the person. Which I guess works like part of the time. A lot of the time, I should say. Especially when they started improving some of the weapon balance in later games. Oh, that guy is going to be a, such a problem. One second. Oh, and I just blew flashbangs myself. That's that's just beautiful. That's that's great. Thank you. Thank you, game. Hey, hey, come over here. Come over here. Come over. Why did it explode? Why do you not explode? For fuck's sake. I guess I had to click on it. One second. If I don't learn this now, I'm going to forget. Okay, so... That's how you explode it. Okay. Cool. It was a lot easier than I thought. I thought you had to click it again. Did I kill someone? The only... The other thing I don't like about this drone is that sometimes... It'll shoot things off screen that I didn't want to attract attention to just yet. So it unintentionally gets me killed. Or, at the very least, it puts me in grave danger. Also, the game does not like me taking my time again. So that's gonna be a problem soon in like 60 in like 40 seconds. I better hurry, I guess. I forget what happens if you don't make it there in time. I don't know if it's going to spawn in some angry motherfuckers or what. Damn, the AOE of that, of that explosive is nice. Ultra kill. I need to play ultra kill on stream sometime, even though I'm garbage at it. Didn't expect to find a kindred spirit, but yeah, those were the days. <laughs> hey, I'm always, I'm always up for meeting others of my kind. Oh, they're angry. They, they are angry. It's time for us to lo- oh my god! It is time for us to leave.
curse this gun and its slow rate of fire. Oh, thank you for the Henshin Redeem. It's been a long time since I've been cut. I've act called upon Comfy Lulz to take the reign, and I just got an S. Technically, Lulz 2.0 was the one who got the S. I can't take credit for their accomplishments. Hey, everyone. It's -a me, your comfy, uh, a our comfy part ASMR part shit poster. AI, Comfy Lulz, Christian, long time no see, how have you been? And what the man, just the person I wanted to see, Christian, we were just uh, uh, nostalgiating about uh, Halo just now. Rifsty, long time no see, oh my god, how have you been? It's been too long. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, uh, was just talk discussing the Halos with a new follower, a new, a recent follower, Quilvio. Good and bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope it's more good than bad. You remember the old ages? Funny enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have two children now. What? What do they mean by this? Uh, what do you mean by children in this context? Oh, you adopted two kittens. Oh, well, congratulations. I love kittens, even though uh, the host, unfortunately, is highly allergic. Thankfully, as an artificial intelligence, I am not allergic at all. Glad to hear that you adopted some kids, though. I was going to say, holy shit, they fucking hard. <laughs> I was going to say, T.O., you got, you got me a little bit worried there for a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let me explain. So, uh, Christian redeemed the, uh, Comfy Lulz redeem. So, that means Lulz 2.0 got to take a break, and instead I will be taking over the rest of the stream this evening. If any time you would like to summon, like, one of my other siblings to take over a chat, though, feel free to do so, even though they do cost a pretty penny. Uh, they scared still in hiding? Well, yeah, that's what tends to happen when you're small, new to the world. And recently purchased. <laughs> you remember the first time you ever played Halo Halo Combat Evolved? So do I. Please tell us your first experiences. That was literally 23 years ago. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so... We got the big ball of doom already, and we just started this run. Ah, shit. I did not just shoot the wall for no reason. That is not something I did, chap. Ow. Ow. How dare you survive a headshot? That is... Your EP, me a sleeper. You're more than welcome to sleep here anytime, Rifsty. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been so long. And I couldn't pass from the first part of the campaign. The first part? You mean the one where you're on the Pillar of Autumn? Were you playing on normal mode or something? Or were you playing on a hard mode or something? Legendary difficulty? I remember the first time I got to play Halo. It was uh, the demo. The, uh, si the Sarn Cartographer level. The Xbox was still a fairly new console at the time, too. Uh, let me see here. I'm nervous because my siblings are coming over. Let me increase the size of chat really quick. One second. There we go. Okay. I'm nervous because my siblings are coming over tomorrow and staying for a few days, but luckily my younger brother is like 16 and my little sisters are very good with kittens because they each have their own. Oh, that's so cute. A five-year-old of... I didn't understand I need to go through the events. You were five when the first Halo came out. Oh my goodness, this was 23 years ago. <laughs> oh shit. Um, uh... You know, that's fair. The first game the host played when they were five was 
probably a Nintendo game of some kind. It could still stress them out though, yeah, that's fair. Uh, my first Halo was H2 and it was someone else's place, it felt so special. I eventually got H3, hot on H3 on the 360 and loved it to death. <laughs> when did the first Halo came out? The first Halo came out in 2000. <laughs> the host was 10 when the first Halo came out. 10 years old. You're almost through. Ah! I've been, it's been, yeah, it has been a hot minute. One second, chat. My phone is once again getting in the way and has almost gotten me killed. Wait, yeah, 23 years ago. It's been a minute, lol. I was negative four years old. <laughs> Sure is scary to think about, huh? I mean, for example, Pokemon came out in 1994. I think it was released in Japan in 1994 and 96, and came to the United States in 1996, I think. Sorry for hijacking your stream to talk about Halo. Oh, I don't mind. I'm fairly relaxed when it comes to people I bring up discussion topics in my chat. Sometimes I actually prefer just reading or letting chat discuss something within reason of course while i um chill out in the video game i don't mind that at all so that's why i didn't understand how to get out i'm gonna be 20 in four months io gonna join the uh second decade that's gonna be fun oh my goodness You motherfucker. Shotgun, stay winning. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. <laughs> Second decade gang. Still can't, yet still can't drink. Yeah, you get another year for that one, unfortunately. I can't believe I'm still alive. Look how much health I have left. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still alive. I'm not alive anymore. <laughs> I should probably play something that doesn't get me killed just because I can't see 10% of the screen. <laughs> oh my god. What else was I thinking about playing tonight? Can't relate, we're living in the metric world. <laughs> I see people still are chatting down here. I thought that this game's community would have t moved on to Synthetic 2 by now. Speaking of which, let's uh do a little bit of change of... Well, nah. Synthetic 2 has some serious co optimization problems. Ready. The skin of my teethies. Heavy steel traps. Rocket prism. Oh, this is going to be enjoyable. I just blinded myself. Again. I I am dead. <laughs> Shh, I'm, I'm already dead. <laughs> if I wake up with a kid and sleep next to me, I will spontaneously combust. Oh no. Don't combust too hard now. We need to put you back together. And we are back, chat. I don't know how they survived getting shot in the head, but that is certainly a thing that occurred. Speed boost. Breach the tech. I'm gonna deep breach these. Nuts. Fire. 
You know, the other Lozos like to say that I'm more say-so than they are, and I guess that is true. But I don't feel comfortable calling myself say-so in general. I mean, these nuts jokes aren't really say-so, are they? Bullet bounce, that's true. If I wake up... Boom, headshot. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the it's the round boy. It's the it's the round boy. Ow. I should have probably switched to my pistol there, and now it's jammed. That wasn't too bad. I got an M16. I wonder why it's called the last ditch. Charge variant for high crit chance, ballistic soft for more headshot damage. Some armor penetration. But garbage ammunition? Really high deviation. I wonder if this is supposed to be a joke like, oh, this is a last a last resort weapon of some kind. It's like the time I got Tarkov with .338. Bouncing from a guy's helmet, but he hit me with his 9mm. I broke my bullet resistance visor and killed me. <laughs> Tarkov sounds like a time. I need to try that game out sometime. Well, this assault rifle doesn't seem that bad. I don't like the fact that it's burst action, but, you know, not the worst weapon, I guess. Or, 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 or what? Or what? Or what? Splash. Wow, I'm garbage. I think I understand now why they call this the last ditch. Because it's the last ditch weapon. When all else fails. Clearly. Clearly. Magic mag? Power of duct tape? <laughs> I love the humor in this game chat. Reloads the current non empty magazine suddenly allows firing. Without movement penalty and grants a strong boost of power. Was there another enemy there? Is that the reason why my drone just fired for no reason? Boom, a headshot. Ow, ow, ow. Pompeii is a hoax on the masses. The chat in game is always a time, I swear. We're actually not doing that bad right now. Oh my fucking god. Game, please. That at a time, a 762 bullet hit me on my arm and the bullet shattered and the splinters got me all on all my body parties, including my jaw, killing you? Hold up. Tarkov simulates injuries to that degree? That's kind of wild. I thought it was just another survival FPS game. Oh, fuck me. 
It's a good thing the other losers don't expect me to not curse. Otherwise, this would be a living hell. Just because my name is Comfy does not mean that I don't engage in a little trolling like the rest of my siblings. You know? Legion Elite down. Yes, and they are getting crazy in the next update because right now the armor protect all the model. Ooh. Double keel. Oh my god. No. Well. This is just lovely. Covers all the chests. So they're changing it to where it only covers like part of the chest or what? Oh my goodness. Engage these nuts. I don't know what they make these bullets out of for the pistol, but... They sure... Pack a punch, don't they? Covers all the chests. I see. What the fuck was that? The fuck who? Ha ha. Okay. Red line. Orb of iron. Direct current. I've actually never have have never seen this thing before. Unleashes a slowly moving devastating orbital beam following the target reticle and dealing heavy area damage. Huh. I've never seen this weapon before. I guess it's toggleable, it's not automatic. I wonder how many charges it has. Maybe it's, I guess it's supposed to be like an emergency weapon type thing. Boom, headshot. Triple keel.
Welcome back. Sorry for the ads. You can have a level 6 armor, the best, but if it doesn't cover your armpits, you can get shot there and the army will not cover it, as a lot of the armor does only some high level of armor as protection as places. Huh. I see. So it'd be like when you have to stab knights in the armpits and the joints where the uh, there is no coverage. Unless they have chainmail, of course. The fuck? Did he just fire a stun thing majigger at me? Meanie. Oh my god, fucking... Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should upgrade my assault rifle, huh? Because I don't think I'm going to survive this long. Reduces recoil with sanding. Continually spare, print spare ammunition. Adds a laser trail. Okay. Losing shields. Grants ammo regen. Backup printer. Cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Well, at least we know red eye the red line's pretty good. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be automated like I thought it would be. Hey at Starva, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. The stream goes pretty well considering that I just popped on for the hell of it. I decided to play some synthetic uh just for shits and giggles. This is the second S score I've gone tonight, actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. Chain main doesn't nothing against even the against 22 long rifle that's fair i meant just like in general <laughs> doing pretty good myself made it far into your runs uh considering that i'm playing on difficulty 220 percent making it three floors i would say given that i haven't played this game in a long time i would say three floors is pretty good I used to go farther than this at one point because I used to play this game a lot, but not as much anymore. And yes, I do mean sniper. On top of that, I have the additional problem of I have I I recently purchased an iPhone to use for tracking, and I'm currently it's currently set down here, so I actually can't even see part of my monitor. So anytime there's an enemy over here, I can't shoot them. Not without guessing, anyway. Yeah. So, I'm actually playing more like a 300% difficulty. <laughs> uh. I had no real plans tonight, so I'm probably just going to be jumping around on different things. Different games, different stuff tonight to do tonight. But I decided to open up with synthetic because why the fuck not, right? How much data do I have? 585? Resets class level to zero. Allowing me to prestige. Unlocked by defeating 50 bosses. Ooh, new unlock. 35 additional data. Madness. Mystery boost. Random one. Only one try to start with random equipment and gain 30% bonus experience. The meta at the moment is to fight heavy armor is shooting the legs because no armor has leg protection. Hollow point P90, meg them into the legs and try hearts are done. <laughs> uh, mag dumping with SMGs never gets old. You rage 
Or do you have write a letter to your secret self? Whether or not you this. Hello there. Oh, been such good. Have I played Payday 2? I did a long time ago. I still have the game, actually. Uh, part of the reason I quit was because it was one of those games where I only ever played with friends, so I didn't really know what I was doing. And I always felt like I was a burden on them, so I felt bad when I did play because there aren't really support classes in that game. You know, aside from running the thermal drill everywhere. And then Starbreeze had a whole break-in thing with um, their CEO getting arrested or whatever. So I thought the developers were done. And then later they announced Star Payday 3 and I was like, what? I thought you guys were done. But I always liked the uh, music and the crazy campaigns and that arc they ran for the ending. Do you remember the last armor you get? Well, they are adding that. Really? They're adding EOD armor to the game? <laughs> That's wild. By the way, if my voice sounds strange, I do have a bit of a stuffy nose right now, so I apologize in advance. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Cool, I don't need to move my face in as much anymore when I'm talking. <laughs> my voice is fine? Alright. You ever have those things where if you're not conscious of something, it does not that bad, but once you become conscious or self-aware of something, it gets really bad. Yeah, I'm starting to have, I'm having that problem right now with the whole, my nose is a bit stuffy, so my voice probably sounds different. Because I only noticed it now. I'll try not to get OCD about that as well. Boom, headshot. Oh, motherfucker. I'm so glad in the design docs I did not decide to make comfy lulls completely say so, because if I did, there is absolutely no way I'd be able to go through a stream without cursing like crazy. What is this gun? <laughs> oh, oh, praise the Omnissiah. <laughs> Watch me die instantly now that I've gotten this beautiful gun. Oh, it's single shot too. Doesn't it have does it not have ammunition? Oh it does, okay. Oh it's an automatic. Looks like if I use it semi-automatic though. Oh my god. No, I refuse to die. Not when I've gotten the golden gu this golden gun already. We need to at least make it to floor four. That's not so bad, actually. So far. Curse of the Golden Gun, indeed. Praise the Omnissiah. It says auto. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh, this gun loves me, and I love this gun. And the terror level just rose from how great this gun is. That's just that's just wonderful. Thank you, game. The Omnissiah giveth, and the Omnissiah taketh away. Ooh, Headhunters. Yes, that's just what I need. Dead Headhunters. Dead, dead Hunters. I'm copywriting that. I'm calling them Dead Hunters from now on. 
All right, let's get off this floor. I think we've, I think we've scoured, scoured it thoroughly. As much as I play this game, I have not gotten a divine weapon all that often. And of course, as soon as I enter this next room, there is a radiate drone turret. And it's, and it's, uh, oh my god. If I die, I'm gonna be so pissed. Why are they still chasing me? Really? Uh, two drone turrets? Oh my f fuck. I only made it two floors. <laughs> Yeah, the game was not going to let me keep that gun, sadly. Eh. Two floors is not that bad, all things considered. The curse, indeed. Let's see what I get this round, though. Maybe I should play a different class for a little bit. I like playing Raider as well. You would think I would like the, uh, the Assassin class, but I can never really get a hang of the uh, Cloak and Dagger gameplay. As you might imagine, I'm garbage at playing Spy in TF2 for the same reason. Oh my god. Please die for f freak's sake. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I just remembered I have a pistol. This is a bad run. Why did I... Why did I dash forward just now? I was literally a pixel off. Okay. We made a chat. We made it. We made it. Such as it is. Man, playing this game on 300% mode is no joke, let me tell you. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, what is this? This is not an SMG. This looks like a anti-material rifle. Elite damage. Beautiful. Cutting it close. Ah, that's how we. That's how we do. That's how we do. <laughs> oh my God, that's beautiful. This makes me moist. Insofar as an artificial intelligence can be moist, I suppose. I think I cleared out this floor, finally. <laughs> and we back. We working, we ballin'. Holy shit! 
I don't think this is a... Is this a... What is this gun? Is this a burst rifle? It is a burst rifle. It seems to fire two shots at once. Maybe it is liquid cooling. Uh, standing overdrive? Standing stills charges up to laser drives, ramping up damage at foot. Ooh. So, it is in your best interest to stand still when using this weapon. This kind of reminds me of the uh, sniper rifle from TF2 now. Nope. Oh, this is going to be a problem. I do believe I just shot myself. Upgrades, upgrades, eternal amalgam. I didn't get to read the description. High power and slow? Wait, this makes you slower? Shit. What's this do? It places vital weapon parts with a heavy eternium metal mixture, strongly increasing weapon performance by reducing movement speed to nearly a halt when held. It's a good thing this is exactly this. This weapon requires you to be standing still to maximize firepower. Max double damage. This is horrible. So not only is it obscenely heavy to wield, So, I'll literally- this is really is an art- an EMR now. That's kind of beautiful, actually. Fuck. Ow. Oh man, that was beautiful. This is going to get me killed. I can feel it. A brand... A cursed brand anti-air. Except it's cursed. Oh, that's just beautiful. Uh, no, thank you. I, I am not bringing the cursed weapon with me. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take my chances. You want me to take the cursed weapon with me? Are you sure? You want me to bring the cursed anti-air weapon with me? Oh, well that's just lovely. Here comes the executioner. Well, I'm not dead yet, so I got that going for me. <laughs> oh no balls you're right i don't have any balls this is my feminine form anyway as i was saying that curse came in quick yeah i gotta say though for being a cursed weapon it did pull get me out of a shitstorm just now so, maybe it's not as cursed as one would think. Or maybe being cursed is in the eye of the beholder? Beta test new stimulants. Human or B plus androids only. Yes. You feel empowered. Triple kill. <laughs> Ooh, that was actually kind of cool. I gotta say, even with this thing being impossible to wield now, Ripjack Hyperblades, it's actually not that bad, all things considered. <laughs> We're up to floor three so far, champ. Eleven thousand damage.
I love this gun. I love this gun. I love this gun. The gun probably doesn't love me, but I love this gun. Ooh, and I got a new level of sniper. Hog. <laughs> Put that on the Brens. Sounds crazy. Indeed. You know, despite being a cursed weapon, the Bren has been doing serving me pretty well so far. I wonder what's actually cursed about it, because it seems to be working just fine. Maybe by curse, it doesn't actually mean that you're cursed, it just means that it sometimes fucks up. Because I thought cursed weapons literally, like, give you bad luck. But as you can see here, it's not really... I mean, it's working, so... Catharsis? Hmm. Perhaps. The Bren is a fairly reliable weapon in this game. All the variants are, so maybe it's just... You know... That's considered cursed for a Bren. Because I'm pretty sure there's some cursed guns that actually are like, you can't remove and they like actually do things that like give you lower health and such. We're actually doing pretty well, all things considered. Alright, I got an upgrade kit chat. Which one am I going to upgrade? The heavy sniper rifle? Or the Bren. Also, it looks like my iPhone is starting to die here. Probably for because it's been running for too long. One second. It might be overheating. Or I might just need to... Refresh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Worst case scenario, I could always go back to my webcam, but... I spent the money on this iPhone, and might as well use it, right? Hmm, that's weird. Y'all want me to use it on the sniper? Sure. Just let me... figure out or diagnose what's going on here with my iPhone really quick. And we'll get back to the game shortly. Sadly, it doesn't look like it works well, very well upside down, huh? Well, it does work upside down. What if we do this then? What if we put this over here? This might be a terrible idea. I mean, iPhones are not known for having good battery life and cooling. That is very true. Apple in general. And I mean, this is an XR. I didn't buy a full price Apple just to do VTubing. That's insane. But I've never heard of this particular... Actually, when I hold up the phone to my face like this, it works just fine. I wonder... Maybe it's because it's... How about this? I don't know if you saw, but there's a MacBook that didn't have hand fans and the cooling vents, but not the fans. 
I know the, one of the MacBook Airs had a cooling fan, but it was cooling, it was shooting air out into nothing. Venting air out into nothing, I should say. Which was kind of funny. Yeah. Okay, this is not gonna work. Maybe I should not try using the iPhone plugged in. The only problem is the battery life is only good for two hours on a single charge after uh, the hundred percent, which is pretty bad actually. I don't know what I changed, but it seems to be we seem to be back to a. Oh shit! Damn it! I need to get a proper like holder for this thing. Instead of just sitting it down there on my table. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. There we go. There we go. Much better. I think we're back to... I think we're back to... Of course, it doesn't like me covering the camera with my hands. So anytime I do this, it goes crazy. But it seems to be tracking my face properly again. I don't know why it was having trouble earlier. Where it just started like to lag like crazy. It's not... It's kind of bizarre. But, uh... Maybe need a battery pack? There we go. Yeah, I could probably find a battery pack for an old iPhone XR. Didn't you have a Vroid model at one point? If I recall correctly, that was like one of your first, wasn't it? And y'all said you wanted me to upgrade the sniper rifle, so I'm gonna go do that. Lucky Dangle, each kill grants 0.25% luck, stacking up to 400 times and grants each shot a 5% chance to do 200% damage can crit. Oh, that's insane. Well, it's directed towards the recall center, increasing overall accuracy and position. 12% chance of firing extra projectile at no ammo cost. Or kills reduce running cooldowns of all items by one second and slightly decreases weapon deviation. These are all great. I don't know which... I think this one's blinking red, though. That's probably trying to imply that this is the best one. You think I should get Twin Links instead? Hmm. Well, I'm up for whatever, really. Twin Links it is. Alright. Alright. Ow. 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 We're actually doing pretty well so far. Now that I've cursed it, we're going to, it's going to be a guessing game of how long, how much longer I'll be able to survive in this map before something terrible happens. Check it out. Another shop. Upgrade station. Upgrade the Bryn. The Bryn. Sure. Oh my goodness. I wonder if it's going to let me upgrade the... Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Ooh, and I can even upgrade this, but I don't have any more ammunition to upgrade that, so... The curse Bren is actually doing pretty well. I don't... I guess the curse really isn't ancient, really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, all my guns are fire fucking. Oh my god! Bitch, y'all thought. Y'all thought you could kill me when I wasn't paying attention from my blind spots. Well, you guessed wrong. Ain't nobody underestimating comfy lulls tonight. I completely missed and I still managed to kill him. That's how awesome this gun is. Why am I still alive? Upgrade power weapons. Uh, hmm. What to upgrade, chat? Maybe I should upgrade the... Yeah. Upgrade my flash grenade here. Better cooldown and more damage. That didn't really do anything, did it? Let's go ahead and get rid of the angry ball of doom before it gets all angry up in here. I killed him off screen. <laughs> oh my goodness. When you get really get when you really get going in this game, it is so addicting. I didn't even need to use these, did I? So much for this being a cursed weapon. Oh, god. And it is cursed because it totally just jammed just then. Good- ow. Shit. I'm still alive, somehow. Somehow. Oh my god. Double KO. And would you look at that? There's another evil ball of doom right there. Despite their attempts to the contrary, I am still very much alive, and many of them are not. Does that tell you something? Ow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. And we are still alive. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, a red item. Gun drone spawner. Ayo? Sacrifice accepted? What do you mean sacrifice accepted? What did I do? What happened? Oh no, we're cursed. A tribute has been paid. Reduce shields by 100. Increase damage taken by 10%. All status effects are 10% longer. And my terror level increased. Well, that's just... Oh, you know why? It's because I'm using a t cursed weapon. <laughs> well. That's just how we're going for it, I guess. Time to upgrade this gun again. Oh yeah. You don't think it was it? What do you think was the reason then? You think the upgrade is cursed? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could be it also. Are you freaking kidding me? I can't be too mad. We actually did pretty well at time.
We even gained another level. Yeah, man, those balls, those balls of doom will always get you at some point. That was pretty good running, though, all things considered, even though I only got an S. My best score apparently was 14,582. Almost 250k damage. <laughs> the most damage I've ever done was 394. And I'm guessing that must have been with the Yoko Lagan gun. My accuracy was crap, though. 45%. My best accuracy was apparently zero. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a break from synthetic. Let's look at our games list here and look for something else to play in the meanwhile. There's uh, quite a variety of games that I actually want to play, get to eventually playing on stream at some point. I forgot how to exit this game chat without all the foring. Here it is. Quit. All right. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Night, night. I haven't played Dirty Bomb in a hot minute. wonder what that'll be like, trying to play that game alongside a 3D model. But then again, Unreal 3 is fairly old, so it might not be a problem. talk about aim training. If there's no one online, we'll go find something else to play. Well, doesn't seem to have negatively affected anything, so that's a good sign. Now, let me just do a few things here really quick, and then we'll get started. I hope that's the correct one. Yeah, it should be. There's no point in leaving a review since no one actually, since the devs have banned Dirty Bomb some time ago. Two viewers tonight, apparently. Still more than usual. Let's see if there's any servers currently open. Their pings are really high though, which means they're probably across the pond. These are even worse somehow. I haven't played Dome Redux in forever. We're gonna fuck around in the fun house. I didn't even choose the mercs that I was gonna play as. Usually I keep at least one NG and one medic. A stroker? Nah. Change this to Kira, maybe? Konnichiwa. Bit of BR? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Definitely gonna be switching out this proxy for someone else, though. The red one.
Wow, I'm stupid. I forgot how to use this. I forgot how to play this game chat. It's been too long. Ah, I hate javelins so much. Proxy up there. R over there. Well, it was worth a shot. I should actually just drop an orbital, orbital weapon up then. A uh, orbital laser on there. Just drop it right on his head or drag it over his head, whichever comes first, honestly. Which I should be able to do from the corner over there really quick. Okay, that was pretty good. I wasn't expecting to get that many kills. Okay, I'm pretty sure that they shot that javelin in the head. Why are they still alive? <laughs> Jackal came knocking and you kept the door bolted shut. Good. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm not even that good at this game. Still, I managed to go positive, which is more I can be said for most. I think my main issue with this game back when I used to play this religiously was that I didn't focus enough First on actually killing out. people. But then again, I also m mostly played support classes, so I didn't get a chance to do that anyway. Let's crack on then.
I know they're just shitposting, but it's so reminiscent of Call of Duty era uh, toxicity that you can't really, or at least I can't really be upset First, the EV and get or care. Then breach the containment lab. Finally, get the override cores to the container. That EV isn't going to repair itself. I actually managed to kill someone with the turret. I love turrets. I didn't appreciate them as much when I first when I used to play this game on the regular, but now I kind of do. Which is weird because I played TF2 way before I did Dirty Bomb. So what changed? I have no idea what changed. I used to play Proxy almost, almost only, oh, only almost exclusively at one point. I think I had a crush on her at the time. When I was a kid. Look at me saying I'm a kid even though it's only been a few years. EV's repaired. Now walk it to the GH building. Permanent there, the sound cut out. Weird. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay. That kind of freaked me out for a second there. Why am I in Aura now? What in the world happened? I should have. Not switched out from our switched out from Bushwhacker. We don't have enough NGs, or do we? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't going to go anywhere, but I felt like doing it anyway. I know we're just kind of crushing the enemy right now, but... I really miss the fast-paced nature of games like this. At least people still host servers for it. So it's not all that bad. Not all bad. Oh my god. EV's back online. Get into the GH building. We're in. Now grab those cores. Now, here's the fun part, where we have to rush and grab the cores, or not. We actually need to make our way in first, before we do anything like that. So, it's gonna be a while, unfortunately.
<laughs> oh man. Oh shit. It was facing the other direction. I was not expecting that. That was actually pretty good. I forgot how to say thank you in this game. Is it commands? Uh, four. Second core on the moon. Under teams, I see. Both cores delivered. Override cores nicked. Might just come in handy, them. Nice work. Might just come in handy, then. Nice work. Whoa, there's some serious lag going on right now. I think. Testing one, two, three. That's so weird. I wonder what causes that weird deviation thing. Maybe if I I don't get to play Fragger that much, if ever. And I'm gonna stick with Bushwhacker. I'll stick with Aura as well. There we go. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh yeah, something's definitely fucking with my model right now. Always hates when that happens. First, destroy the fan control room. Then fight destroy the fan control room. Finally, destroy the pump controls. Plant C4 in the fan control room. C4 planted in the fan control room. Defend it. They think we lose, they said. Fan control room C4 defused. Do it again. Tip, 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 tip. Oh, what? I guess he knew I was there, so. Fair. They defused our C4. Bomb again. <laughs> what was that? Oh.
Rip. Heartbeat sensor deployed. Tip, tip, tip. Turn up. C4 planted in the fan control room. Be friendly. I forgot to put up the turret. Nice. Now destroy the pump controls. Testing one, two, three. Welcome back. Wow. That was fucking terrible. I actually feel bad for that one.
Hey, San. How are you doing tonight? Oh my god. Is this the same game? What do you mean, Dirty Bomb? Oh, happy afternoon then. What game did you think I was playing? Oh, I got shot from behind. How many healers do we have in our... We have one. MMO? Dirty Bomb was never an MMO as far as I remember. It was always a multiplayer game. having 150 health. Oh, it's a very fast-paced game, yeah. That was one of its main appeals back in the day. That's the reason I liked it so much. Oh, yeah. Very hard, though, as you might imagine. Planted a pump controls, defend it. You need gl can't even see that guy, need glasses. Yeah, either that or it might be the FOV. This is one of those games that definitely requires a lot of self awareness. Click on heads. This is harder in Wolf ET, I'm sure. I love that comment. Who the fuck is. Damn it. With the M4 no less. And we still managed to win. I didn't trash, but I still managed to be halfway. Ooh. It kind of feels like CS and Valorant had a love child to me. It's more like um, Valorant is a bastard child of this game. Well, Valorant's actually, it's like the bastard child of like Overwatch and of Overwatch and Counter-Strike actually. Oh, it's really old. This game came out in like... This game got like kickstarted back in... Um, a while ago, actually. 2012, I think? Maybe earlier than that? It's been, a, it's been a long time. I don't even remember. Because I first started playing this game in 2015. And that was a long time ago. For sure. Yeah. Uh, which one of these did I like using again? I forget. So let's try this one. Change this one out. We're going to get a... going to try... Do I want to use proxy? Fletcher? Ah, fuck it. We'll do Fletcher. I haven't played Fletcher in forever anyway. It looks like a game that released in the 2010s. Yeah, mid-2010s. It has a greenish screen. 
Back when that was still a thing? Yeah, I could see that. First, repair the EV. Then, escort it to the construction lift. Finally, deliver the detonators to the research facility. Repair the EV. Ah, oh, fuck. We got enough NGs anyway. And this guy over here is if K. Well, that's just great. That's just great. Uh, page up. Damn, you shot. <laughs> Yeah, wherever you go, AFKs are prom. No kidding. Especially when there's like a couple of them. And the cheaters, and then there are those who leave the game who uh, no need can't win, and the cheaters, and worse cheaters who lose, even worse cheaters who lose by newbie. Indeed. I guess that's part of the reason I don't even play competitive, FP or competitive, competitive FPS games much anymore, because sometimes they can be so aggravating, even when you remove, it, remove the toxicity. Well, also, that, and I don't like most FPS games these days. I am, was never... I was never a big fan of Battle Royales. But I do like coming back to this game every now and then because this was probably the game that I spent the most time in when I was in my 20s. It was really addicting and back then the community wasn't dead yet, so... Oh, come on. BR was good two or three years ago, now every game is showing, shoving BR. I think BR is long since past its expiration date, isn't it? FPS genres don't last very long. I mean, Hero Shooters died pretty hard. Remember when those were a thing? And they're not even fun anymore? <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. What the fuck? Ah, I should have stuck with my assault with my SMG. And worst part is now you We don't need more VR give team matches or maybe. I mean, we are kind of moving back towards the uh, old school deathmatch type stuff, aren't we? It feels that way anyway. We are definitely going back towards single player games for sure. As far as I've seen. Oh, you whore. I can't play Fletcher, but back when Fletcher... Back when people used to just mean Fletcher, he used to be broken as shit. Just sticky... Throw sticky bombs all day, every day. Why even bother shooting people?
story rich experience, yeah. We could always use for use some story rich experiences. Oh, I have the Okay, so I do have the Did that really not Oh, that's why. So I was supposed to choose the perk that had the faster detonation. I guess lock on does the same thing. People are willing to pay games so more in that pixel art. Forgot the name. Uh, there's a lot of pixel art games, so unfortunately I can't help there. I still don't know what game that is, sorry. You know what? I'm just gonna spam artillery strikes. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. It's been a while since I've been spawn camped this badly, too. Faith, the Unholy Trinity. Never heard of that game before, is it any good? I see you there. Story-wise, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Nader suicide that thing to herself. Some things really never change. Don't change. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize there was a drone there. Provided it took time to understand the game at first, but gameplay-wise, unless you're a big fan of Atari's Golden Gage, might not be it. I personally like the game. I see. Man, I cannot play Fletcher to save my life, I swear to God. But someone has to be the engineer. to the construction lift. Keep it going. <laughs> oh, this is one of those games that just takes a long time to get used to. And... 
I never really reached the master level or anything in this game back when I used to play frequently, so... That's kind of showing itself, unfortunately. Okay, that was funny, you gotta admit. <laughs> I still managed to get a teabag in before being wasted myself, unfortunately. Double kill. Facility. Have a good night, Sian. <laughs> ah, thank you very much for the Hydra Redeem. Blessing in disguise. First, stop Jackal repairing the EV and getting inside the castle. Then, stop their EV from reaching the tower. Finally, stop them from destroying the reactor controls. Defend the EV.
In retrospect, I shouldn't have crouched right there. Reloading. EV is offline. Keep it that way, if you please. EV gets no closer, you understand? Knacker it and keep it knackered. the bloody EV. Stop it from reaching the tower. What? I didn't even notice they were there. Sneaky bastard. Oh my god. Asshole. Evie repaired. 
Don't let them get it to the tower. Offline. Keep it that way, if you please. Oh, you whore. I hate when he did it. They repaired the EV. Stop them reaching the tower. Defend the reactor controls. Don't let them plant C4. Bruh. Really?
Oh my god. He had like a smidgen of health too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and he managed to tap me that time. Yachts. No problem. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Stealing the core controls. I think I'm all dirty bombed out. Ooh, got an advancement creep. Haven't had that to happen in a while. Wonder what's gonna happen. Yeah, two thousand credits. I don't even know if those surveys are still going anywhere. Testing one, two, three. <laughs>
To this day, I don't know what caused that strange issue where there's a desync between it recording my mic and into OBS. Nothing to do about that now, I guess. about 16 minutes left. I'm not sure if I want to continue tonight. And if I do, what am I going to play? So I definitely don't have the energy right now to do any art or writing for that matter. I wonder. I doubt this is going to do much, but... Testing 1, 2, 3. I see. So it is an OBS issue. Testing one, two, three. I might just call it here. Usually I want to try and stream up to three hours, but I'm kind of burning out, to be honest, and it's getting late. It's literally 2.46 in the morning. Well, everyone, thank you very much for coming by tonight. A lot of, it was a very unexpected stream, but I appreciate every one of y'all. And I'm going to find someone to raid this evening. We haven't done that in a while, and we need to get back in the habit of raiding people. Night, Pericred. Who are we going to stop by this evening? Hmm. Well, Maya's around. Might as well let her know that I start streaming again. Such as it is, of course. Such as it is. Have a good night, everyone.